1773, a small band of courageous patriots decided to take a stand. The time had come for this gathering of rebels to voice their opposition to the king's unreasonable tea tax. They knew that they faced the most formidable foe of their times. They knew that their acts of protest could result in financial ruin and imprisonment. Yet in spite of the dangers that they faced, in spite of the obstacles that were placed in their path, spurred on by their thirst for freedom, they stood for what they knew was right. They silently stole onto three ships that stood unsuspectingly in British Har Boston Harbor. They chopped open thousands of chests full of tea and flung them into the waters below. In the face of adversity, they stood for what they knew was right and made their voice heard. We gather here today to make our voices heard. know that we will no longer stand by and watch them recklessly spend our hard-earned money. <laughs> just, just as those who went before us, we have decided to take a stand, and yet before we can effectively combat our foe, we must understand what we are facing. When my parents were born in 1960, the national debt per capita... <laughs> they gave me permission, I asked. The, <laughs> the national debt per capita in today's dollars was 200. When I was born in 1992, it was 7,800. In my short lifetime of 17 years, my share of the national debt will have quintupled to an astounding $43,000. The debt that is rationally and irrationally and rapidly increasing in Washington today will not be paid for by today's adults. Rather, the book bill will be footed by my generation and my children's generation. This is not a sustainable path for our country. Thomas Jefferson stated that it was incumbent on every generation to pay their own debt as they go. It is for these reasons that I call on our elected representatives on behalf of my generation and my future children's generation, stop this reckless spending. Stop spending my future. We can no longer sit on the sidelines and watch our future be spent on failed government programs and failing corporations. We cannot leave our children's tomorrows in the hands of elected officials who seem unconcerned with the financial well-being of the up-and-coming generations. This unending pattern of spending must end here and now. It is time for we the people to once again take the helm of our government. Armed with the power of knowledge, we must take action. Call your local congressman or senator and let your voice be heard in your government. It is imperative to elect a leader who understand the importance of fiscal responsibility. Though some of you, like myself, may not yet have the honor of voting, do not let that deter you. Get involved in campaigns. Take a few hours out of your day to go door to door, make phone calls, and dedicate yourself to candidates who understand that we must protect our financial security. I leave you today with this quote. What is past cannot be rewritten. 
but it is within our power to rewrite the future. Thank you.